And for this one, which is pretty much actually where I left off at the moment, I have intended to put some images here as well. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. And since it follows the same format as this, I just copy it. Yes, I press double, the Control plus C twice. If it doesn't go the first time, the second one pretty much ensures it. That's a problem with Word and Excel, though, because it tends to bring up this clipboard thing, which gets a bit annoying. Okay, since I don't know what the numbers, the orders are, I just leave out the numbers. Of course, these are likely to get changed. This is the full-size version, so I'm going to switch to here. I've already processed the photos that are the good-looking ones. I've left out some of them, as you can tell. Lots of them are repetitive and duplications and things like that. Move files. <laughs> Little use until I can convert them to AVA. Because otherwise I can't use virtual dub. And by the way... <laughs> but anyway, let's see here. For quick copy-paste, and I want to get them in order. Just enter rename mode. But don't rename it. Double JPEG. <laughs> I don't need this best here. Okay, and then go off to the other side. But I need to include the thumb for a reason. This Nelson Carlson. This, the title is what is used when you put the mouse over the image. That's what that attribute does. The main view. Alt is when the image can't be found or images are turned off and various other things. But I just essentially just copy it over. There's also supposedly an attribute used for the long-term description, but I actually just embed it into the page itself directly below. So, since the images are not processed, because I ain't uploading these original JPEGs, because, uh, want a file that big? Or, uh, how about this big? Or this big? <laughs> But then again, that's the move file, and I ain't gonna throw that in. For that, I need to open up GIMP. I'll show you a tactic I use. Waiting dots. Okay, with this thing loaded. Go to the shortcut. I've used this program since, like, late 2004 or so. So I've really been somebody very familiar with it. Uh, okay, so they're all down at the bottom. Alphabetical. Duh. Okay, open up the JPEG. Huge size. Yeah, big. But there is a trick. What I usually do if I want to crop it is I use this tool and make sure it's on this mode. Of course at this size, there really ain't much needed. And it looks like I don't need to crop anything. So, they can just leave it as is. So, scale it. What size do I want to use? Hmm. Something like this, at this huge size, is going to cause some problems. Because I don't think you want to be downloading really big files. So instead, I just scale it down. In this case, 2 to 3 ratio. So it's 2 thirds the original size. Always linear, because I find that to be the most precise. 
Mathematically, that is. Hit the scale button. It also seems to kind of eradicate JPEG artifacts as well. To some extent. Of course, downsampling will cause the... Hey! Uh, let's see. Now I say if it is JPEG. Like visit, let's see here. Okay, and this one is processed photos and videos. Yes, I'm making a new folder. This is the full size version. Okay, get rid of the best. I always enable this so I know what the file size is. And no, I'm not using 100, but because of that, for one. And there really ain't much of a difference between 100 and 90, except for a huge difference in file size. Though for these large sized ones, I tend to use a lot lower, like 80 or 70 at the low end. Usually I prefer 80, unless the file size gets over 1 megabyte. But that is very rare at the 2048 size. <clears throat> then lastly, I need to save a thumbnail. How big does the thumbnail need to be? Well, that's based on my style. But first, I should actually Z it to get the original one. Yes, I'm back to that sheer big size. But why go to the big size? Repeated doing a, repeatedly doing a scale down is going to cause some deterioration. This way I get the maximum quality. But what width do I use? Well, my website's based on 800 by 600 as the intended resolution. So, I go something actually a little less because there's margins. And in this case, 768. It's a 4-3 ratio. And of course, do the usual scale down. That's kind of a big for a thumbnail, wouldn't you think? But it's all part of my style, or theme. And when I save it, I save it, save it into the same folder, but thumb. That's to indicate that it's a thumbnail. It's part of my techniques. But for thumbnails, no, not a hundred. I use ninety instead. That's a fair size. And on dial-up, that should take about 25 seconds, roughly. On a fairly good connection, anyway. For a download. It's about 5 kilobytes per second. Sustained, of course. Although the actual limit's actually higher. Oh well, next photo. Okay. Best. Uh, let's see here. Beach sand. Or sunsets. Not quite. I guess I'll go with this one. Yep, this is a close up of the sand. But then again, I'm wondering if I really need this one. Rocks. I love them. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll cancel that. 